Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to today's uh, Luna Classic video update for Thursday, 30th of June. And we are right now retracing. And uh, yesterday's video, I talked about the technical target, which was met like a boss. And uh, after we met the technical target, I told you we are going to take a break. And when we take the reason why we're going to take a break is probably because of the weekend. So let's remove all the drawings. Let's bring back uh, the log scale right there. And right now, I am on the four hour time frame here. And all you did is probably you might be a little bit bullish, right? You might not really go down all the way. And there's a reason for that. You really made something bullish right now. I, I'm still trying to figure out if this is, your, is, your, is a bull flag. If this is your potential bull flag, then you're looking for a technical target again from there to there that's going to take you all the way up here to nearly uh, 21138 uh, you probably could have gone there and and i think you can actually go there and there is some good chance that the weekend doesn't really dump to the downside and i'm going to tell you why so let me just give you a logical explanation as to why this can happen so this is known as 3 line strike pattern and uh, I'm gonna open up Google for you and I'm gonna open up the bullish one so that I can get my point quite across so the bearish one is when let me actually open up auto draw as well so that we can get the concepts all right so when you move in a downtrend right you make one red candle second red candle third red candle all of a sudden you make a green candle to the upside when you combine these four candlesticks together they're known as three line strike pattern but these are bearish one and it means continuation to the downside yeah that you're actually gonna keep on going to the downside all right so that was uh, the bear side of it the bullish side of it is when you're moving in an uptrend like this and then you make one green candle second green candle third green candle and then you make one big red candle to the downside that's bullish actually it means you're still gonna continue higher so this is what I'm talking about three green candles that one big red candle right over here what I will say is put a big stop loss down at this week which is gonna be one two one uh, one two seven two three and that's gonna be like a loss of nearly nearly you're looking for seven percent drop to the downside if it does but the best uh you know stop loss in my opinion will be down here at the one two one three four because that's the last area of the demand zone where people really want to buy so if you really do take out this area then you're looking for a deeper retracement probably retest this last high right over there the last swing high right over there okay that's why i do believe that you might be looking for luna classic to make it uh some sort of a retracement so from here if this three line bullish three line strike actually does play out you might really you're looking forward for this one to continue to go higher but if you really want to take a safe entry is that you break this level which is going to be 158 and when you break the 158 back test and, and you can enter at the back test and put a stop loss down here and then you can ride it all the way to wherever the hell it wants to go maybe probably go to the moon now it's been amazing uh ust coin also has made its incredible move to the upside and i just love how the market you, you know is, is you know how luna classic is really looking in this market right now especially when you don't have a lot of positive positivity going on All right so that is three line strike but there's one more thing to point out and that's this resistance right over there there is one more problem you see candlestick reading is cool and all but there are some other puzzles to the pieces that it's really important to actually tell you and that is when you have a bullish pattern right now hear me out this is your resistance that's your support right there and when you have a bullish pattern just like this three line strike pattern that i showed you it doesn't really work when you make it at a resistance now for example you have a bullish pattern like that one right on the resistance right 
on the resistance, you might really not break the resistance and continue higher. Same goes for the bearish side of it. If you do have a bearish pattern like uh, three line strike, like but bearish one, but you make it on a support level, it might not be bearish to still go to the downside as long as you're holding support. So this has a touch here. I'm going to actually draw this one. So one touch, second touch, third touch. All right. You are still resisted and you are still below a resistance once again. And this bullish pattern might not play out, which actually tells me if you really try to go up above this level, not only are you retesting the line, okay, this might be just the retest of the line right here. So if you actually do start to bounce it off, that means you have already retested it successfully because you didn't do it there, you didn't do it here. And once you do actually start to come up here and take out this level, number one, not only are you retesting the uh, resistance, but you're breaking the resistance and you're breaking the highest part of the bullish pattern, which I just showed you the bullish candlestick and you can continue higher. But I kind of doubt that there's a little bit of a gray area to say the last that you're gonna actually continue moving to the upside. You might still take a break. You might make a little bit of retracement and where the retracement can actually be is if I do try to take this swing high right there to the swing low, um, just like that right over there, you can already see that we, uh, we, we've we already crossed the golden ratio here. We, we got overextended all the way to the 1.618. It crossed the 1.618. It went to the 2.618 as well. So if you do cross the 2.618, I do believe that you're looking for the 2.2917. And that's where you might find uh, another technical target if given that this was your bull flag, okay? If that's a bull flag, then it could be that if you do connect the dots so from the top here to the bottom, uh, this is where you're breaking it out. So it does, look at that. Even that bull flag actually does take you to the highest part of the fib retracement. Do you see that highest part of it? So maybe, maybe after all it's a bull flag, but you still have resistance here and it, it, could, it could still not play out because go logically, as long as you're holding resistance, Always ask yourself if you're buying at the resistance, so resist yourself from buying at the resistance. Well, that's a very good catchphrase. Resist yourself from buying re at the resistance. I'm going to use that one from today. So how much can you retrace to the downside? I think my take is retrace a little bit to the golden ratio, which is going to be the 1.618 and hold this level moving forward. Who knows, you can actually make deeper retracement even down to the 9051, bounce off here and then continue its journey. To the upside once again let's let, let's actually look how the weekend is going to look like for this one before we close the video and because the weekend is coming to an end yeah so the weekend is really stretched so next week you might have a little bit of retracement but who knows i cannot guarantee you retracement when things get bullish they get bullish okay they get really 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 bullish so break it like this you've broken the downtrend that's a very clear break of a downtrend you might just come a little bit down on a weekly on a weekly, I would say the big support is down here. So it does make sense to hold this level on a weekly time frame, which is going to be that right over there. So on a weekly time frame, you've already crossed it. You, you've already made You're going to make a bullish cross in the next three, probably three days, 19 hours. And then you come for the retest and then you go to the highest part. Now, keep in mind, if in the next three days you actually come below and close below 9000 level, then that's not really good. You're going to end the closing in a week just the same way you did right over there. Do you see that? And that's something that you don't want to do. And that's it for today's uh, Terra Luna Classic update. Guys, if you want to join our Discord, join the Discord for free. The link is in the description of the video. And I'm going to see you the next one. Hello, office.